Hello. I'm still well. Basketball is more than a game. It's a sport. And on this episode of 94 for 94, we highlight an up and coming talent, a person that some would consider a legend. His name is Jeff. Who is this Jeff guy you may ask? Well, that's the question we want to answer for you today. So he brought in two of his closest friends to tell his story. Hello, my name is Lance and uh, I'm a friend of Jeff's. Uh, me and Jeff met maybe in like second grade, I think. Yeah, 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 second grade. Craziest thing is uh, I think we met because there was like this new game that came out and I uh, can't remember exactly which one it was, but I was, he, me and him was talking about it. Well, I was talking about it, he was listening. And um, he, he, he did this thing where it was like, I, I guess I knew that he enjoyed the game because when I mentioned it, he was just like, he did that little look. I don't know, I, he did some look, I don't know, whatever, he looked at me. And then I was like, all right, bro, you, you wanna come to my house and like, we can play that game? You know, just kid stuff or whatever, right? Um, he ended up showing up at my house and then uh, my mom ended up answering the door and she was like, Lance, who's this grown man at my door? <laughs> mom was a jokester. I don't know why she said that to be with the same age, so. Yeah, like in the later years, uh, maybe like towards middle school, he started playing basketball. Um, it wasn't necessarily my sport, but you know, me and him, you know, we were friends and all. So we was just like, all right, let's just try for the team. Um, I tried out. It was it was nice. He made it, but you know it, it wasn't my sport. You know I was I was really trying to stay in my books anyway. So, but yeah, you know, but for the most part, uh, coach. Um, yeah. Yeah. What's going on, y'all? This is Mr. Ray, Jeff, sixth grade math teacher. Is this sixth grade? I think it was sixth grade. Sixth grade math teacher. Also, his basketball coach is a one of a kind. <laughs> he never spoke. I mean, I would take attendance and he, he just would stare. <laughs> that little mop bob of his, uh, whatever his style that was, uh, he was just one creature, one son of a creature. Uh, I'm just so proud of him to see what he's doing out here in the community. Uh, you know, he's taking that gift and really went far with it. Somebody get my get my pamphlets. I, I, I gotta take a boo-boo. Coach Ray. Coach Ray, that's his name. Yeah. Um, yeah, he was a coach at the team at the time. Um, he just said I didn't have it. As a as an eleven year old kid, you know, it's just kinda kind of a tough thing to say. I mean, he said a lot more. Um But you know, you, you know, you got you got to get over that kind of stuff, man. You can't let uh, things get to you. Everything you see Jeff doing, I told him everything, literally everything. Uh, you know, Jeff's one son of a creature. You know, uh, it was a uh, very interesting teaching somebody that didn't talk. Uh, you know, he just would kind of. I mean, it was just to the point where I didn't know if the boy was human or a, a human robot. First encounter, man, uh, it's so long ago. But uh, we were actually at basketball practice. Uh, like I said, I was his coach, uh, a good friend of mine. And... Uh, oh, I, I I guess I, I consider myself as like Jeff's best friend. Yeah. It's kind of hard to really talk to him because, you know, he's not really a sociable guy. But I mean, we kind of have a connection where it's like, you know, I say what's up and, you know, it's whatever. I don't call him, you know. Give me a second. Yeah, I can see Jeff going into like uh, the NBA or the ABA or any other basketball association. Well, I guess not WNBA because it would have to be a woman. First encounter that he had, we were at basketball practice and I threw him the ball. It was the first time he's ever played basketball. 
and uh, the ball hit him smack dead in his face. <laughs> I mean, it was just hilarious. And I just couldn't believe that the boy just did not know how to work his little fingers. Uh, but by, by the end of the season, he became our star player. Uh, he made sure he had our towels, our water, our shoes were squeaky, squeaky clean. And uh, uh, just to see how far he's gone with this basketball out there, after high school, uh, actually after middle school, I'm sorry about that. I was his sixth grade teacher. Yeah, we stayed in contact a lot. Um, he was places. I showed up. He wouldn't really tell people where he's going. I didn't even coach him in high school. I mean, after the season, he just blossomed into this this young, bright man. Uh, Jeff, like I said, Jeff is a character. He doesn't speak, but he has a great heart. And just to see the positive stuff that he's got going on in the community is just, it's it's amazing. It's it's beautiful. Uh, I'm glad to be a part of that. Uh, what what do you think Jeff chose you as his coach? Jeff chose me as his coach because I crossed up the good, infamous, famous, legendary goat, uh, <laughs> Uncle Drew. So a lot of people don't understand that I am the street legend of this basketball. Okay, I I am. Basketball. When you think of Michael Jordan, now you think of me. Okay, I am Mr. Ray. I make it rain. I make it drizzle. I make it do whatever it do on that coat. Go ahead and pass my candy. Oh Jesus. Yeah, man, Jeff. Give me one sec. Oh, I got this one story. Uh, one time in high school, uh, there was these two girls, right? And, uh, you know, everybody liked Jeff. Jeff was kind of a cool, laid-back guy. Everybody likes a quiet guy or whatever, right? So, you know, me being his friend and all, we, we, we walked up to him, and they was giving us the eyes. So I was just like, you know, let's, I'll, 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 I'll do the talking, you know? So I was just, I just came up to him, and I was like, what's up? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? My name, is, my name is Lance. This is my boy Jeff. You know, he's the star player of this team. And, you know, we, we just trying to see what y'all doing. And, um... I mean, like, I I really wasn't feeling them like that. I was really just doing it for Jeff. But, you know, they, they end up just kind of going with Jeff. But it was cool. Like, it was just good times, you know. I, I, I don't know what happened after that. He kind of just left me. Jeff, Jeff is a creature now. All right. Uh... So what's the plans for you and Jeff? The plan is for us to take over this street ball basketball and we gonna do it together. We're the best duo ever to assemble. Shaq and Kobe has nothing on us, okay? Michael and Scotty have nothing on us, okay? We do it all. He got the dribble package that I've never seen besides myself. Like I said, we are taking over the street ball basketball. We just signed a multi deal with nothing was handed. That's that's nothing was handed. We just signed with with them. And I mean, we're going to take over this basketball. Um I hope in time Jeff finds his uh his purpose in life and um I hope he, he he just climbs that mountain and gets to the top because you know that, that kind of talent deserves to be put on a pedestal and uh, Jeff is gonna be one of the greats. You know, you're gonna be you're gonna be talking about him for years. Jeff has a lot in store, as such as such as I. Stay tuned.